So welcome to the second Bootstrap 3 Extras video. In this video we're going to be looking at alerts. Now in Bootstrap we have two main types of alerts. We have ones that can't be closed and we have ones that can be closed. So we've also got uh, four different colours that we can use. So we have uh, green, blue, yellow and red. Uh, this one is for a success message. This one is just general information, a warning message and a danger message. This final one can be closed, as I said before, so it's got an X here, which also has a hover func hover uh, effect. When I press the X, it disappears, and then when I refresh, it comes back. So hop into our code here, what I have is a container, and this contain I'm using a container basically because alerts don't look so nice when they are stretching the full width. And also for the purpose of this video, I want to put it on a container, it makes it easier to see. This container also does have a margin top of 100 pixels in my styles.css. That's just to make it clearer in the video, but you don't need to worry about that. So alerts are really easy to do, just create a div and give this div a class equal to alert. And as with everything in Bootstrap, we also need to assign a color to it or a type. So this can be alert-success. And I'll show you all the different ones in a moment. Alert-success, and inside here I'm just going to put lorem ipsum dolor. And there, so now if we, I have a look at my live preview, I refresh that. Okay, so you see it's green, and yeah, it's green. That's our alert. It doesn't have a cross on it to close it, but we'll have a look at that in a bit. Uh, I'll show you all the different colors. So we've got alert dash success, alert dash info, and this will make it blue. There you go. Alert dash uh, warning, and this will make it yellow like that and then alert dash danger and this will you guessed it made it red make it red there you go it's like a pinky kind of red so yeah so we can also add a close button to this what I'm going to do is put this on a new line just to structure it nicely so to close it it's really easy we just need to add another class which is alert dash dismissible like that and just above this, li this line of text, what we're going to do is add button, like that, and give it a type equals button. I'm not too sure why you actually have to put a button type equals button. It's just a thing we have to do in Bootstrap. Class equals close. That's just a general uh, class in Bootstrap as well to close it. And then data dash dismiss. This is going to be alert. So this is going to uh, dismiss the alert that is inside. So it's inside this alert here, so it's going to close that. It's going to dismiss it. And then here what we're going to do is, you could put like, I don't know, close here. So if I had that, and I go into here, it says this close, and that closes it. But if we want to have the X, what you could do is ampersand, I think it's an ampersand, times, and then semicolon. And that gives you an X. That's just a general HTML uh, code. So there you go. Now we can close it. So it's got a hover of transitions and everything. So yeah, that's it. So that's alert. Uh, thank you for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe if you found this useful. And I'll see you in the next video.